Hey guys, my name is Matumio, and today's challenge, a bunch of you wanted me to use the M26 frags. Uh, this, of course, is a gadget for the assault class, and admittedly, I, I've been avoiding this one. Uh, I've done frag round challenges in the past. I've used them on the primary shotguns, like the 870. I think I've also used the semi-automatic, and I hated those challenges. Like, I, I came to the conclusion that I could not understand why anyone would want to use that loadout, and this being a secondary or a gadget slot, weapon, I figured that this was going to be the worst thing in the world. That was surprisingly not the case. Like, I, I don't know if it's just simply because I've been doing these stupid challenges for like more than a year now, and I understand how to work around these maps and understand how to get the most out of them, but I was able to go on these ridiculous kill streaks where I felt like I had no business partaking in. Like, I did not think I was going to be able to be this successful, and maybe it was just simply because the enemies that I was going against didn't have any idea what was going on, maybe the planets were aligning and I was just extremely lucky, but I was able to go on some, some healthy kill streaks, and I just had a lot of fun with this challenge. Uh, the one thing that you need to know about the M26 frags is that it hits just as hard as every other pump action shotgun in the game using the using this ammunition. It's going to do 37.5 damage per shot up close if you get a direct body shot, which admittedly sounds atrocious, and it, you know, it, it is. And then it's going to drop off to 10 damage at long range if you are hitting the enemy with the actual round. The splash damage component of it, though, does 25 damage per shot. No matter, no matter their distance, no matter if they are too feet in front of you or 2,000 meters away from you, if you are getting that splash damage on your enemy, it's going to do that consistent 25 damage. And what surprised me about all this is that this is a gadget. Like, this is not a primary weapon. It's not even a secondary weapon. It is a gadget for the assault class. And so I was simply not expecting it to have the same type of firepower as a primary 870 or like the Spaz 12 for example. And so because of these stats, I I'm grateful that that is the case because if it was any less, it would be even more useless. But if I was able to catch my enemy by surprise and I was able to get directly next to them, it only took two shots out of this weapon to take someone down from 100% to zero. I needed to be on. I needed to be on my game because it does not have a very fast uh, rounds per minute. And if I missed just one shot, I usually was going to be down on the ground. But as long as I was consistent and as long as I was getting some amazing flanks off, the M26 frags, surprisingly, got the job done. Was simply not expecting that. Uh, I did mention that it does have a little bit lower rounds per minute compared to the primary shotguns. But when you actually get down to the, the nitty gritty stats and you look at the differences and the disparities between the two, it's so insignificant that you're never going to notice a difference on the battlefield. For example, the 870 and the Spaz 12 both have an RPM of 109. Respectable, low, they're pump action shotguns, that seems right. But the M26 frag comes in at 100. You are never going to notice a 9 RPM difference. Like, I don't care how hypersensitive you are. I don't even care if you think that you are the god of battlefield and you have everything down to hard science. When you get into the thick of battle, bullets are whizzing by, explosions are happening all around you. You are never going to notice a 9 RPM difference. And so upon learning these stats, I thought to myself, well, what is the benefit of using a primary shotgun with this ammunition over a gadget for the assault class? They do the same damage, they have virtually the same RPM, and while of course their reload times are going to be different because one you have to put in each individual round while the other uses a magazine, I was having a hard time justifying why I would ever want to use a primary shotgun, a primary shotgun, with frag rounds over this gadget. The only thing I could come up with is that the M26 has only six rounds in its magazine. That's the only negative attribute that is associated with this compared to the other shotguns in the game. It's crazy to me. Like, this this doesn't make any sense because I would think, at least balance-wise, while yes, it makes sense to have the M26 frags perform the way that it does, because if it did any less damage or performed any less than it does, I would say that it would be useless. And I actually would say that this is pretty much useless compared to the dart and the, the, the buckshot version of this gadget far superior than the frag rounds, but also makes me question, why are not the primary shotguns a little bit better, at least with the frag round component of it? Like, make it so that I can at least maybe get a one shot if I'm directly next to them while using the 870 and frag rounds. Like, why isn't that a thing? Like, it... 
like I said, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Maybe Dice has some higher higher level of thinking. Maybe they're on a, le a higher plane of existence that I have no idea what's going on. But it really made me question why this particular gadget was nearly on par with the primary weapons in the game. Uh, one thing that I really enjoyed doing with this challenge was using a combination of the impact grenade and the splash damage of the M26 frags. Uh, as you guys know, the impact grenade does a solid 80 damage as long as you get it next to the enemy and so if I saw a clump of uh, soldiers off in the distance I would throw the impact grenade next to them it would do some nice splash damage and then all I would have to do is aim at the feet of their you know aim at their feet get that solid 25 damage of the m26 and then just kill every single one of them immediately didn't pull it off very often because usually a lot of enemies aren't just clumped up next to each other but there were some moments when I, I got some nice flanks off I would just throw it into a clump do that nice splash damage and instead of just doing the cheesy way and throwing another impact, I was able to finish him off with uh, the M26 frag. That was probably my favorite uh, aspect of this challenge. Uh, but overall, I, I still wouldn't recommend anyone using this particular loadout. Uh, the, the dart version, the buckshot version of the M26 mass is a hell of a lot better than this. Like, they just, they're just, they're just better. Like, flat out, the stats are better, they hit harder, you're gonna get those one-shot kills. And while every once in a while, maybe if you're in a situation where you are are about to kill someone with your primary weapon, but they duck behind a corner or something, and you can maybe finish them off with some splash damage of the M26 frags. Maybe I could see that being useful, but for the most part, you know, just throwing a normal grenade over there will get the job done a hell of a lot better than this particular gadget. And so, yeah, I, I can't really justify or see why anyone would want to use this loadout. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's challenge. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have a loadout or a setup that you would like me to try next, be it a gadget that you would like me to try to get kills with or a weapon with a terrible combination of attachments, let me know down below. Uh, until tomorrow, guys, have a good one and take it easy.